Tucked away at the end of a Langley Street, beside a bend in the Nicomaca River, sits the Machat House. When it was built in 1888, this was mostly prairie and forest, and sometimes under floodwaters. The Machats cleared the land with oxen to farm here. Over time, the young city of Langley grew up around them on the prairie. Joseph, Georgiana, and their five children had made the long journey from Quebec by train, steamer, riverboat, and wagon in 1878. They spent 10 years living in an abandoned stopping house on Smuggler's Trail, today's Glover Road, allowing them to save money to build their new home. The Machads were also the first French-Canadian family to settle in Langley. When they arrived, they spoke no English. Joseph's older brother, Maximilian, came west by train and foot during the gold rush. Maxi eventually bought the hotel at Hastings on Burrard Inlet, became Vancouver's first postmaster, and bought 600 acres at Langley Prairie on his brother's behalf. The Machads became respected members of the community, running a successful hog and beef farm. The family also grew to seven children. They also brought their faith with them. The first Roman Catholic masses in Langley were held in their parlor for 20 years until St. Joseph's Church was built. The church was named in honor of Joseph's uncle, a priest who built Victoria's first Catholic church in 1859. Today, you can visit a replica of the Mashad's parlor at the Langley Centennial Museum. Joseph Mashad was only 68 when he died in 1909. Eldest son, Zatik, inherited the land and with brother Max, farmed until just after the Great War. The farm was then sold to the Soldiers Settlement Board. The land was divided into 20-acre parcels for returning soldiers. Eventually, the Bolia family bought the land to run a dairy farm with prize Holsteins. I always say Bolia. But Bolia is the proper way of saying it in French. First year of school, I couldn't speak English because my mom and dad always spoke to us in French. Yeah. So. It was a tough year, <laughs> but uh, anyways, I don't know, it must have been a good teacher because she passed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was um, a good herdsman. He won trophies year after year, and he just loved his cows. So Roger was the worker on the farm. So I did do some, but uh, I tried to get out of the most of it. <laughs> It was a good life. It was tough, a lot of work. Like we never had a bathroom in until 1950. I remember going to the outhouse, uh, and then when <laughs> when my dad built onto the back of the house there, put the the tub and the toilet and that in. It was just, it was just uh, like a different world. So we worked hard, but we played hard too. Well, there was lots of land to play baseball or run around, and um, the boys, I remember them building rafts uh, yeah. right at the back of the house here to go down the river, and we played along the banks of the river. For me, I didn't have to work much because I came along a lot later, and uh, my dad had passed away when I was seven. And by then, I think the cattle was just being sold. I do remember, uh, the one thing I remember about the cattle, I remember when they went into the barns, and they each went into their, what would you call it? The stanchions. Yeah, the stanchions, and they all had names. I remember these chalkboard signs above their stalls. You know, like one would be named Cecil, or that always stuck in my head. Memories, mom's cooking. Even when the men were out working, we'd be, uh, mom would be baking cinnamon rolls or making sandwiches for lunch and we'd haul to where the men were out in the field and I worked out in the field too, not too much, but everybody chipped in.
The city of Langley bought the house from Mrs. Marcel Beaulieu in 1977 and designated it a heritage site. Langley Heritage Society and the Langley Arts Council began restoration in 1980. Today, it looks as grand as it did more than 100 years ago. A caretaker tenant lovingly tends the Mashad House Gardens. Sandra Reams celebrates the home's proud history with a poem that ends. It still stands erect and dignified, holding its own place in time, a precious legacy to preserve and enjoy.